Hi, this is Rob from SeeHowToDoIt.com. Before we start the video, we'd like to thank you for watching. We'd also like to ask you to please like, subscribe, and share on social media, and visit us at SeeHowToDoIt.com. Today we're going to show you how to connect any swamp cooler to a hose bib with three simple parts. First, you're going to need some quarter inch plastic sleeves, a three quarter to quarter inch swivel adapter, and some quarter inch irrigation hose. If you would like yours to be ran in copper, you could substitute the quarter inch irrigation line for a quarter inch copper, but you will need to change your quarter inch sleeves to brass sleeves. So let's get started. Okay, first we're gonna go ahead and slide on the brass nut here. And it might be a little bit hard to see. One end of this plastic sleeve has a little bit of flange. We're gonna put the flange end facing out. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hold that here. This might be a little bit hard to see. Okay, there. Okay, now we have it on there. Okay, now we're ready to do the other end. We'll go ahead and take our brass nut and we'll go ahead and slip it on here. And then we're gonna go take our plastic sleeve. Once again, the flange end facing out. Might be a little bit hard to see with my hands in the way here. Okay, we have it on there. We'll go ahead and slip it on a little bit more. That should be good there. Now we'll go ahead and slip it on to our swivel. Go ahead and put it in. And we'll go ahead and hand tighten down the nut. Now we'll get our wrenches. Okay, we'll go ahead and put one wrench over here and the other here, and we'll go about a quarter of a turn. Right there is pretty good. And now we're ready to go ahead and put this on the hose bib. Okay, we'll go ahead and put this end on our hose bib. Make sure it's fairly tight so you don't have leaks. Now we're ready to connect the other end to the swamp cooler. All right, we'll go ahead and slip our irrigation tubing in. We'll go ahead and hand tighten the brass nut until it's hand tight. And then we'll go ahead and take our wrench and give it about a quarter of a turn. And it's pretty much as simple as that. Once again, we'd like to thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share on social media. And visit us at SeeHowToDoIt.com. Thank you.